connect, connect. Oh man, okay. I am uh, in Phoenix. Well, no, I'm not in Phoenix. I'm actually I'm all over Arizona, but uh, I'm with my. I just got through working out, and it's crazy heat. 116, 109. It's like crazy. And uh, I have something I wanted to share with you guys, and this will be very helpful uh, to a lot of you, especially those of you who are experiencing hot temperatures, like it's getting really hot, humid, dry heat, it's all the same. During this time of year when that happens, it is not, um, it's more common to experience major fluctuations with weight on the scale. So for instance, let's say you weigh 180 pounds and you're working hard, you're eating right, you're doing everything right. At the end of the week, you step on the scale and it's the same or went down a half a pound or went up a pound or two. And you're like, what? I'm doing everything right. I'm eating right. I'm doing everything right. Well, the temperature changes, you can retain a significant amount of water, especially for those of you who don't drink an adequate amount of water. So drink water if you don't want the scale to drive you absolutely crazy, cause it will drive you crazy. Uh, now there are some techniques that you can, you know, put into place so that you're less likely to have those experiences. And uh, for those of you that I coach, I've probably shared that with you. And for those who I haven't coached, then uh, when I talk to you this week, bring it up. And if you're working with a coach, a certified coach who trains people on the Die Your Life methodology, they would have the answer. Uh, so there are things that you can do. The other thing that you can do, aside from drinking plenty of water, is to make sure you exercise. And the exercise first thing in the morning, get it done and make sure you're eating your foods the way you know how to eat your foods and you can continue to make progress. And here's the final and probably the most important thing I wanna share with you. If you're doing everything right, okay? And you are expecting, I was talking to my man Dave this morning. He's doing everything right. He feels like it's his best week he gets on the scale and it drops two pounds, okay? He's like, I know, I know, I expected it to just be amazing. I was gonna see my biggest drop ever. And I said, look, what you do that week does not always show up at the end of the week. Oftentimes, it will show up the following week. Unfortunately, what happens, people get discouraged, they're driven by their emotions, because I see this a lot too. You know, people t constantly give up on themselves, which is so sad. You know, weight loss really is a, it's, it's something that, that is one on the inside. And that's why when you have a coach or someone that can keep you accountable, it's a very wise, smart thing to do. It's not a very wise thing to not have a coach. Same as if you were gonna be a singer, I would say, get a coach to help you stay focused and on track and be accountable. Everyone's life is gonna throw them curveballs. And life really is like a box of chocolates. And my goal is not to preach to you, but to give you this information to help you, but you may be in a horrible marriage. You may be in the means of divorce. You may not like the people that you work with. You may feel overwhelmed, but take care of yourself because the sun cannot shine forever. And when it's raining, it can't rain forever, right? So when it's raining, the sun's gonna shine again. But keep in mind, you let go and start gaining weight because you can't handle the stresses of life. Talk to enough people and they will let you know that that was a big mistake they made 20 years ago, 15 years ago, last week. Put yourself first. Lord help these people understand the importance of taking care of themselves.
please take care of yourself. So my point and my share, because I do care, is if you worked out really hard from the first to the seventh, don't expect on the eighth to see everything perfect. The outcome of your efforts may not show up until the following week on the 14th. That's just the way it is. Now, I haven't combed my hair or anything today because we've been working really hard. And my little girl, we're getting ready to go have some fun, but uh, we bust our butt and we got it in. And it was not easy in this crazy heat here in Arizona. So God bless you guys. Have a great weekend. And remember, never give up. Keep pushing and then push some more and drink a lot of water and the scale won't play tricks on you. Okay, peace.